down a, a, a past. Also on Spotify, I have my commentary on the Super Soldier thing, uh, the, the documentary. Um, but I'm going to upload another video of covering what I was talking about when it came to um, Deborah Director. Uh, the you know my graphic there that I have of the the main puppet there is is Deborah. Uh, a lot of people know her as Rose Blueprint, um, Rambling Rose, um, Crystal Rose Montgomery, Rose Daly. She has all these different aliases. Uh, Rose, uh, I I came into finding out who she was because um, Nate Gray has a website called Super Soldier Talk Forum. Might have said that wrong. And I saw a video where Rose was talking about masks and talking about, she's reading some, some information that she had on the web where it was describing Max's relationship to Orlando Bloom. Which is a fact. I guess Orlando Bloom was, was uh, Orlando Bloom was Max Spears' godfather or something like that. He's christened. Uh, you know, the the two um, boys had you know kind of their lives kind of intertwined and they were somewhat parallel to each other. And of course, that's been taken farther with um, oh, what's that guy that's always on? It uh, doesn't wear any socks. You know, the guy that uh, Tim Rat that. All right, Tim Raffet, you know, goes off about it and this and that. And they have, like, they, they keep going and Katy Perry and, you know, like, like everybody likes to spin the story uh, differently. Uh, but during that time, you know, she was uh, talking about Max. And then after that, I watched some of her videos. Um, you know, I, I thought she was kind of um, endearing in the beginning. A uh, little quirky, uh, made these little knit hats that she would sell, and she's all into crystals and this and that. And at the time, she wasn't getting along with uh, Christine, and I had gotten harassed by her. So she was like telling me what Christine had done to her and this and that, blah, 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 and you know, her feelings about Sarah and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And um, then I watched her, I, 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 I kind of dropped off and didn't watch her, you know, um, and like one of her channels disappeared for a while, you know, she kind of fell off the radar. Um, you know, I had, uh, was friends with like three of her Facebook profiles, uh, then realizing that she had three of her Facebook profiles and then also um, interacting with her um on facebook i had a I had a disagreement ironically over the cannabis plant because she was uh rose was trying to say that the cannabis plant um was a cure for the jack it was a cure for uh uh covid which is not not true at all there's no no basis in that because like when you're dealing with a plant that the fda doesn't want to even acknowledge anyways as being anything that would be good for people CBD or whatever, it's a big battle, to, you know, it's, it's a big battle to, you know, talk about it, you know, you, you, when, when you have a corporate interest that don't want to use hemp for fabric or don't want to use hemp seeds for, for you know, to eat with, because um, it has no THC, when you have an illiterate society that doesn't understand how this plant became illegal, Right. And then you run around and you, 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 you add some other crap to it that has nothing to do with it. Then you make everything else seem stupid. And that's a big trick here. Right. That's a big trick that everybody does. That's what Huanon does. You know, you, you take some real truth like Jeffrey Epstein or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And you throw in a bunch of fake shit in it. So now when, uh, when the mainstream media or whomever wants to argue it, they're going to focus on the stupid stuff and say, well, anybody that talks about this obviously is this. Now there's a label for it, which is Gulenaran. And so anybody that is anti-mandate or anti-anything like that, they automatically belong into this group. Degenerates, let's put them in a FEMA camp, whatever. Right? I mean, could could happen. Who knows? But you get you get marginalized on this political level that's very harmful to people. This media 
media is responsible for that. This media is responsible for that. And these players are responsible for it. And, and what I've discovered, what I've discovered about Rose, Deborah director, <clears throat> and she has Ax and Max on Facebook, and she perpetuates the, the, the belief that Max is still alive, like he's cloned or whatever, or he didn't really die is that you make us look nutty. Like when the BBC features Deborah Director on the Max Spears documentary, yeah. you make every, you, you don't She's help. just a troll. You don't, you don't help anything be a legit. She got famous you for don't, trolling. You don't, you don't help at all, really. And my, my problem with Rose, all right, I researched her. I researched her. All right, and the ultimate thing that I want you guys to be aware of is that she's an actress. Mm -hmm. She's an actress with, a, with an IMDb page, and she was in a movie called In the Bedroom, and it stars Sissy Spacek and Tom Wilkerson and Marissa Tomei, and she didn't have just one line. She didn't have just one scene. She has several lines and she's in several scenes, so she's not a main character, but she got a lot of she got a lot of camera time. So if your background is acting, you know, it doesn't make sense to me when you're an actress, right? Or a comedian like me, because Terry Joyce is my stage name, and that's all I am. That's all I am. Like, you know, like some people call me the Hollywood Hemptress because I have a, I had a show called Hollywood Hemptress Hour, but I'm not I'm not hiding. I don't. I don't have a profile on Facebook that says Hollywood Hemptress, and I'm not harassing people with it and spying on them and arguing with them with public accounts. Because one thing you could do with public accounts is that you could you could have a disagreement with somebody, and then if you have three or four different public accounts, you're, it's you arguing with your three or four accounts on one person, and it makes that person think that that oh my god, I'm being ganged up on, or it or it looks to the reader that gee you know when it's that's that's harassment that's targeted harassment that's you know you can even go into maybe even like saying well that's gang stalking because gang stalking happens and you know that's being two, gaslit right? when you when you have people that are like that are not being honest as to who they are with their profiles so rose Here's where the conflict came in about Rose, and I'm going to repeat it again, just in case this is your first video. She was on Facebook recently and was accusing these people who do true crime live streams, Jimmy Jams TV, haven't met Jimmy Jams, but shout out to them. And there's Mo the Moderator. This is like confirmed by Mo the Moderator. Avery and Mo have seen my videos of me talking about her with, you know, fake accounts and this and that. They found me. And they have left comments on my videos that have given me some information. One is that Rose was kicked out of that chat room for having fake profiles. Yes, <laughs> fake profiles. Now, when I noticed that Rose has multiple profiles on Facebook and she also uses fake profiles on on, in, in chat rooms. And Common she, thief. And she's harassing people. Common criminal. That are looking for missing children. Mm. And yet, one of her profiles, Krista Rose Montgomery, which has nothing to do with her name whatsoever, not Montgomery, not nothing, not where's Crystal come from. People go, oh, well, she calls herself Crystal because she's new age. One of her profiles, which I've shown here on a, on a previous video, has actually, you know, booing on stuff. Booing on anti <laughs> stuff with things that aren't true no. with, with facts that aren't true right so you're using mm. that profile on facebook mm. to spew that kind of stuff online i can't believe you still have the profile me neither and what i noticed about that profile when she took a screenshot 
of Avery's channel, which is Truth, Lies, and Alibis. By the way, if you want to subscribe to her, she does some pretty good stuff. She was saying that these people were trespassing on her property. They were threatening to kill her and that it ruins her Airbnb business. But when I actually looked into it, I realized that, you know what, Rose is the victim here. Rose is actually the perpetrator. And in some of the videos, Rose will say, oh, well, you know, there's a, a this little girl named Summer Wells. And Rose would go, oh, you know, I'm just there for entertainment purposes. Really? This is entertainment for you? Mm. Missing children's entertainment for you. Mm. But what do you know, Rose? Because mm. I don't find that entertaining. I mean, I'll look at Charles Unleashed, you know, and, think, and, and look at his videos and go, yeah, that's entertaining. But I don't find the topic of missing people or missing children or dead people or crimes or anything like that as being a form of entertainment, really. It might be a topic that I'm, you know, that you might be into. You know, like it might be, you know, like you might want to watch Sean Atwood or whatever, but Sean Atwood's, you know, entertaining. There is, I guess there's an, inter an entertaining aspect to it, but we're talking about these people have been focusing very specifically on missing children, one of them being Harmony Montgomery and one of them being Summer Wells. And what I found interesting about Deborah Directors, the actress Deborah Director, was that one of her profiles, Crystal Rose Montgomery, the first name Crystal was the name of the mother of Harmony Montgomery. And the last name was Montgomery, which the, was, was the father's name of Harmony Montgomery, the missing little girl. And I thought that was an interesting coincidence. And you know what, Rose, if you follow Max, Max says, oh, you know, there are no coincidences. But I'm still, like, you know, willing to play devil's advocate and realize, ah, eh, maybe it's just a really weird coincidence and there has no similarity and blah, 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 blah to it. And all I did was try to ask you that question. I was here to leave the door open for you to talk to me about it. But apparently, I, I don't matter, and I, who do I think I am to ask a question like that? Well, yeah, you know what? Who I am is somebody that has been part of this media and the mainstream media. I, I do media. That's what I'm, I do, right? That's my, I, It's been pretty much my whole life. I'm an actress just like you are, right? I mean, I have a theater background like there's no tomorrow. I started performing when I was nine years old. Like, I am a trained person. <laughs> and I spent 25 years plus on stage uh, touring the United States and Canada wow. as a stand-up comedian and did television with it. Yeah. And that's a long time to perfect your craft. Yeah. Trust me, I've done it. All right? It takes one to know one. It takes another actress to know when there's another actress creating drama, <laughs> making it so there's a problem with people, right? The difference between you and me is that I don't fake about who I am. I don't fake my name. I don't have multiple profiles and I'm not spending my time getting gorilla email to ask questions and try to act like I'm a Satanist or something. to mudsling me, to disrupt my life. Because that is a psychological harm, which you engage in, which makes you suspect to me. What are you doing here? What are you up to, really, with your fake names and your fake profiles and your fake harassing on these true crime podcasts? And you say, I'm trolling you, and I'm harassing you. That is not true. What I am doing is I am assessing your behavior to other people and what you're doing on your media and how you are being deceptive, and you're a public personality. Your name, Deborah Director, is registered with IMBD. So don't think for one second that you got doxxed. Not when your name is registered with, the, with, with IMBD.
Now I'm sure I'm probably going to get either she's going to ignore this like it never really happened now, or she's going to go nuts again on her channel. And I'm going to make a nuts yourself out, out lady. Nuts, you want to sit nuts, back nuts. and call me a clone or say my hair is fake or do whatever ridiculous hair with the hair as something to shower. You just go right ahead. But I think people should know yes. that these three women who you think is sitting here telling you what our reality is in this world are have suck puppet accounts, they harass wow. people, wow. and they are incredibly malicious, and they are very deceptive. And there's a commonality to that. <clears throat> no. I guess that's my whole point for today. Hive mind. They don't know how and who they work for. Um, let me see.